table, you know, table reads are really interesting. So uh, of, uh, we've had some shows where we don't do them um, and that rehearsal is more scene by scene. Um, Westworld tended to be like, we're going to gather the actors in this scene and rehearse it with the director, which was really cool. It was a really, that's a really interesting creative process. It really, you know, it, the showrunners and the director and everyone's really working on the, the visuals and the character work um, in a way that feels a little, maybe more like a feature. Um, Mad Men had thrilling table reads and they were, I've, I've since learned they, I guess were modeled a little bit more on a comedy writer's room because we would, have these table reads, all of the actors would be there, even the um, guest cast, day players, would read it through. It was always very exhilarating, wonderful electricity in the air, like the unveiling of a new Mad Men episode. Um, and then Matt would go and give notes to all of the actors, but all of the writers would be there taking notes on how it sounds. And then we would immediately go back into the room and do a punch up, uh, what worked, what didn't. And uh, that always felt like the most it, this is going to sound ridiculous, but the most like TV part of the TV job, it felt like, oh, this, when I was young and I had a fantasy of like a writer's room, like the writer is like, we're on deadline, we're shooting tomorrow. And we're like, we're punching up lines and people are pitching, um, pitching new jokes or pitching new. Um, that was always really, really exciting and electric. And I, I haven't been on a show that, that handles its, um, table reads in quite the same way. So, uh, I, which was sad. I come, I would totally want to do that, you know, with my own show, knock on something. Um, uh, I would want to replicate that process. I thought it was so good for all of the creative people involved. Yeah. yeah, I find it very helpful to hear my own writing out loud. And if you can do it with the actors who are actually going to be reading it, it feels so valuable. And it was valuable on Mad Men to hear it and know like that, that line's not working. And hearing that before you're standing on set or you're watching dailies or you're trying to cut something together and realizing, oh, that line doesn't work. Um, it's this beautiful fine tuning process. And I really, I really value that in my writing. If I, even when I do, I do my own little table reads, you know, I have a writer's group and we will just have writers and in, invite actors who are friends and in our network to sit around a table and read it so that you can hear it. Um, to me, you just get a different perspective on, on how well the piece is working doing it that way.